Before aligning the pivot, we are going to reset our new object. So let's start from the right foot, go to the hierarchy, affect pivot only, center to object. Let's do the same for the left foot, center to object, back foot, center to object. Now from the beginning, right foot, let's go to the utilities tab and select reset X form and reset selected. Here it is in the modify panel. Yeah. Let's do the same for the left foot, reset selected, back foot, reset selected. Let's select all of them and convert to editable poly to collapse the modifiers stacks and there they are nice and clean. Now we can actually select our right foot, go to the hierarchy, affect pivot only, click on align and click on your right foot pivot. Make sure that you have the position, all the positions selected X, Y and Z. Make sure you have the orientation selected as well. So X, Y and Z orientation. OK. Same for the other. So let's go to the left foot. Affect pivot only. Align. And select the left foot pivot. Position, orientation. OK. Back foot. Align pivot orientation well doesn't matter but important the important thing here is the position okay now if we select a foot for example change to your um, rotation tool but make sure that you on local frame of reference and now you can just open and close your feet so let's do this for example, I can select the both of them and if you change over here from the selection center to the pivot point center you can move the both of them simultaneously. If you turn on your angle snap with A you can just snap to 90 degrees and that will be the position of the feet on its uh, opening, opened state. Same for the back, it's 90 degrees. Okay, let's go back. In the perspective viewport, let's go to the create panel and select, where is, okay, in shapes, select rectangle, draw a rectangle over there. Let's go to the modify panel and We'll give it a length of 500 by 500, so length and width 500, like so. Let's plimp, let's move that to the origins, 0, 0, 0. The only difference is that the Z axis will be moved down to minus 250. Yes, minus 250, there we go. Select that rectangle again, right click, convert to editable poly. Let's change the color to something better, like so. Select your right foot and with your rotation tool on the local, open it up to 90 degrees, like so. In the front view, let's create a torus. So just drag it out and click once. Back into the perspective view, let's give it in the modify panel a radius 1 of 400, radius 2 of 8, rotation of 32, 200 segments, no twist, yeah, and 4 sides. We will move the position to I'll give you the coordinates x205, y137, and z minus 300. Get your rotation tool, make sure angle snap is selected, is on, and rotate it 
45 degrees along the Z axis like so it should come to about this position here yeah? I'm going to change the color of it because it's bloody awful and right click on your torus convert to editable poly in the modify tab let's click on polygon sub selection and delete all of the polygons that you don't need which is basically all of it oh Christ <laughs> this you do need yeah we have that rectangle here for a reason because we need those polygons there we go you know what let's be a bit more generous let's move this rectangle down to minus 260 instead of 250 and we can delete these polygons over here there we go let's see we have a few polygons remaining here that we don't absolutely need I'm going to click on our leg alt X to make it see through and back to the torus and delete all of these polygons which we do not absolutely need let's see there we are I'm going I'm just checking if I want these to conform if I want the foot polygons to conform to the nail let's call it or vice versa I'm gonna leave these polygons there for the moment we are gonna take that decision later let's give it that nasty hook it has on the front which is actually very nice looking so select your torus in the vertex sub selection target weld you will target weld the one the vertices which are behind so these over here yeah let's call these line the front and these the back so I'm going to just grab this vertex which is down there and I'm gonna weld once twice three times four times five times I'm opening kind of a wound over there I'm just gonna uh, there we go lower that a little bit and do the same for the sides once twice three times there we go and for the other side three times as well so once twice three times so that we get that nasty looking hook let's cap so go to your border sub selection select this border and cap it and make your model very happy by going to the vertex sub selection select cut and add an edge between this vertex and this one there we go now your model is very happy about it I can assure you what we need to do now is to right click on your nail let's call it the toes basically let's convert to editable poly to make sure to the utilities tab now click on reset X form and reset selected again let's have a look first in the modify panel here we go our X form right click convert to editable poly leave it there for now let's just take the left foot and rotate it out uh, the rotation has to be local for us to be able to do that angle snap on 90 degrees there we go now we select the nail over there and in the modifier list actually first sorry let's go to the hierarchy affect pivot only 
W for your move tool and let's move the pivot to 0, 0, 0 so to the origin turn off effect pivot only having that pivot right in the middle will help us when we need to add a mirror modifier to copy this nail for the other foot as well but first we are going to make the nail for the back foot as well so let's select your back foot with your rotate tool and don't forget your angle snap on let's open this up 90 degrees like so so let's make another torus let's go to the front view and create panel let's create our torus and click away there we go this will have a radius 1 of 500 radius 2 of 8 give it a rotation of 45 no twist we are gonna have 200 segments and 4 sides let's rotate these toes 90 degrees like so and let's move it to coordinates x0 y minus 310 and z minus 270 as you can see we have our our nail to be let's move the floor over here to minus 260 so we can see what the result is as you can see it over here coming down let's delete all of the polygons we don't need so click on it right click convert to can I? Ah, here you go editable poly let's select polygon and I'm just going to the left view to drag and select all of this and just delete away leave this stubby little thing yeah leave it there we're gonna take care of it later let's move the floor away because it was there just to show you now we're going to select our toes or what's left convert to editable poly let's do the spiky part yeah let's select edge and select these two outer edges and connect make sure you're connecting right through the middle okay and with vertices or vertex selected we are going to target weld the sides to the center vertex we've just created you can also collapse those vertices and then weld them together it's up to you but you know I like this method anyways so let's weld the back vertices to the top ones as well like so now let's select edge and bring the first edge in there yeah we're gonna give it a bit of a curve now so that's one edge let's do the second as well bit less this time then the third then the fourth and then a little bit the fifth like so okay let's cap that hole we have over here because we have a hole here yeah let's cap that there we got now our na nail it's a bit uh, I don't know if I like this curve and you know what I'm going to move the sixth edge a bit in there to the fifth as well a bit more in there okay that's better it's up to you yeah again 
make use of your artistic skills however you prefer maybe you want a super long spiky thingy it's up to you yeah it's your turret mate alright that's done